In terms of specific holdings, uh, one REIT you own is Entertainment Properties. Mm -hmm. Why do you like that name? Well, first of all, we're fairly close. They're about six blocks from us in Kansas City. It is a uh, um, uh, the owner of the AMC uh, theater chain, and what that uh, business does nowadays is expand its uh, reach and appeal to moviegoers. It, 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 no longer is simply going to a movie and having a box of popcorn. It is a total experience, which includes dining. It includes all kinds of special activities surrounding the concept of movie going, and it's starting to turn the needle up on demand for, for those services. They're the largest uh, REIT operator in that space, and they're doing a great job of developing that concept, and they have a couple of other niches, too, that they're specialized in and doing well in. Switching uh, gears, Williams Partners, another name you hold, uh, big cash payout. They had, though, recently a, a bit of a miss on the earnings and revenue side. Well, you know, uh, where we start with is a five to ten year time horizon. We truly are long only investment people. What we're trying to find are those secular cases that are going to be able to produce the kind of dividend or distribution growth uh, at, at five and ten year periods as we look out over time and get them valued that, that we can have some comfort in. Williams is a very sound drop-down story from its parent, uh, Williams. That's a very large complex in Tulsa. And what they do really is hook up uh, a lot of things to actual running utilities as opposed to taking any spe uh, speculative positions on much of anything. So it's a fairly new security, too, in that package. It's priced, in our opinion, at a uh, distribution yield that is well higher than the quality of the issue. So we think that's going to revalue from six and a half to seven down to five and a half to six over an extended period of time. Dividends growing there at five, six percent a year and it's been faster than that in the past. So we like those kinds of things where we can get value number one, we can get dividend growth or distribution growth number two and it's priced uh, well above uh, prevailing rates for equity income.